Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can kill a VMMEM process which is chewing up all your RAM. Let me show you what I mean by that. If you open your task manager, you can see that there's this process called VMMEM. In this computer here, it is chewing up about 1.5 gigabyte of RAM, right? And my memory usage is 61. You know, uh, my computer is about 32 gigabyte of RAM, so it's not too bad. It's still operational. You can see my wallpaper is still functioning. But in order to kill this, you can't really kill it from here. Let me show you what I mean by that. If you right click the process and you do end process, it tells you that the operation could not be completed. This is actually due to uh, Docker uh, that's running on my computer. If I go open my system tray, you can see that the Docker is running. So if, even if you kill the Docker, the uh, VMMEM process will still be running. Okay, let me wait for the Docker to shut down. Okay, the Docker has shut down. So you can see that the VMME is still running, uh, running at a lower capacity, but still really way up high there, about 1.3 gigabytes. So if you right click this guy here, end task, you can't do it. To officially kill this, you're gonna have to open a PowerShell as an administrator, like this guy here, right click, more, run as administrator click yes here and then I'm gonna zoom the screen a bit more so that you can see it better okay in here you're gonna type a command called WSL space dash dash shutdown so you're basically shutting down a Linux driver on your on your docker for your docker I guess hit enter you can see that the VMME process here went away right so that's how you shut down the VMMEM process. But that process will come back again once you start your Docker one more time. Let me show you. This is a Docker desktop. Hit enter to start. And notice how the uh, as the Docker starts to come up, the VMME process will come up as well. As you can see, it's here right now and the docker is still uh, loading its way okay once the docker is fully started you can see it's back to 1.5 gigabyte again and if you let it ride for a few uh, this one can go really high if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe other than that you have a good day bye now